How old were you when you first became attracted to monsters or creatures that you remember? I was like six, like six, six or seven years old when I, I saw um, the making of Thriller was like the big thing for me. Because Thriller came out and the video was being played on MTV, you know, over and over and over again and all this other stuff. And I remember near Halloween, they did like 24 hours of Thriller. And they would just play the video over and over again on MTV. And they'd play uh, the making of uh, with John Landis and Rick Baker and stuff. And I remember seeing Rick Baker and all this, you know, all the stuff they were doing and just being blown away. I, and I was horrified by werewolves and I, I was horrified by, by uh, you know, Michael Jackson's transformation in Thriller. And, and then after I watched the making of, I wanted to see um, American Werewolf in London so bad. And my dad rented it for me. And he's like, this is a scary one, you know, be careful, you know, whatever. And then he sat there and watched it with me and he would cover my eyes during the sex scenes but during the gore, like werewolves ripping, you know, people apart, he was like, yeah, that's cool. Just watch that. And I had nightmares about it. It was like the scariest thing to me. But then everything that scared the hell out of me as a, ki as a kid became like what I was obsessed with later on as an adult, which is kind of funny. Night of the Living Dead, I feel like, is like the first like modern horror movie, you know? It's, it's not that kind of uh, universal monster movie vibe. You know, there, it's like got this real, like thematic, you know, mature, visceral, you know, it's like, it's, it's got all this other stuff going on that, that's really intense. So I got to meet George Romero at one of those horror conventions and I showed him my Dawn of the Dead tattoo and he was like, why the hell would you go and do a stupid thing like that? <laughs> I was like, okay, George, I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's pretty rare nowadays for, for really cool stuff to come out, but it's funny. Oh, everybody's always making fun of me saying I hate new movies. They're like, you just hate new movies. You only like movies that are like anything after 1987, you hate. And I'm like, that's not true at all. That's ridiculous. So I actually put together a, a list of like 35 movies in the last 10 years that I was really impressed by, horror, you know, genre stuff. And uh, I had just to shut everybody up, you know? Because, you know, I'd make these arguments about why some of these new horror movies were so dumb, and people would be like, nah, they're good, you just, you just hate everything. Everything new, you just hate. And I was like, nope. And that's why I had to, I had to prove to them that I have, I have sound reasons why I think these movies are, are bad, you know? Because I, I do respect a lot, of, a lot of stuff that's come out recently. Most recently, two movies that are actually produced by the same people. Um, the Witch uh, came out in 2015, I think, or 2016 maybe. And that, that was probably the best horror movie I've seen in you know, 10 years at least, you know? Just awesome. Really, really creepy. Took itself very seriously. You know, real, real atmosphere, just scary. One of those ones that like sticks with you, you know? And um, same people just made a film that's actually probably still in theaters right now called Hereditary. Gnarly, really creepy movie.